Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're on the web at drumcenternh.com. Be sure to click subscribe on the screen there so you can subscribe to our videos so whenever we post new stuff, you will be updated. You'll be the first to know. Today we have the Pearl Session Studio Classic Kit. This is a uh, uh, Birch Kapoor shell. This particular configuration is a 22 with a 10, 12, and a 16, but we actually have an additional 14 on this particular kit. So I'm having a little bit of fun with the two floor toms. Um, this is kind of like a quiet one in their line. A lot of people uh, overlook this one. And honestly, of, of all the lines, it's probably my favorite one that Pearl has uh, presently. Um, I'm a huge fan of Birch. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that six to seven ply, six to seven mil thickness straight wall shell. That's kind of what I dig. And I really, love, I really love birch, but this has birch and kapoor in it. Kapoor is a little bit softer, South American wood, and it really kind of softens the sound up a little bit. Birch has a tendency to be uh, pretty harsh and uh, bright and sharp, and it, which is why it records so well. Microphones just love it. They don't, microphones don't have to work too hard to get that signal. Um, but a lot of times people wind up going to maple or something to get something a little more round um, after their ears have been uh, pinned from birch uh, for years. So this is kind of a happy medium with the Kapoor. So you get that nice harsh attack of birch, but you get some nice warmth, which uh, Kapoor provides. It sort of emulates mahogany uh, pretty well. So uh, I'm a big fan of birch mahogany, so birch Kapoor is kind of good fit. So uh, if there's anything I know the Pearl's done right over the years, it's that six to seven mil ply kick. Uh, I, I love their birch kicks and th these are great. Uh, nice, sharp, does exactly what I want a bass drum to do. Uh, the toms on these, they supply them with the cheaper pinstripes um, and they actually sound really good. Um, I'm more of a coated head guy myself and I think that would probably make these even a little deeper, but you get a nice wet attack off of these heads. I don't believe that you have to switch them out right away. Um, you can have some fun with them and then change them out. But when you do, um, change the bottom ones too. Um, and then you'll really have a nice, nice setup. So uh, to outfit this kit, we put a, a Sensatone Bronze six and a half uh, on there, which is a great workhorse drum. Uh, just does the job. A lot of body, a lot of depth, a lot of crack. And uh, I figured we'd have some fun with the red drums. We'd put some red color sounds and black color sound Pisces up on here. For you who haven't heard them, they are surprisingly musical. Uh, the 24-inch Mega Ride is quite a beast, has a really pronounced bell. But the body of the cymbal is not offensive. I mean, there's the majority of hard rock 24 inch cymbals, when you hit the body, it's like playing a trash can lid. And this is very, very musical. And you can actually get a bell sound even out here. So really articulate and good stick definition. The winner of the day for me are the hi-hats, the 15 inch heavy hi-hats. I cannot believe how good these sound. And the pricing on these is really good too, uh, but these will, uh, you know, sound as good as any of the 2002 hi hats I've played. And uh, for the crashes, we uh, have 18 and 20 black color sound, and uh, they have a nice big full sound. So 
So the 900 series is uh, something that Pleisty did, which has a really attractive price point. And then they did the color sounds uh, option with it too. And so it's a really good price point, but you have that real Pleisty sound. So uh, they're a lot of fun.